my dear students next we see the next part of the grammar section degrees of comparison we have studied the kinds of adjectives isn't it these adjectives are used to compare nouns and pronouns in this picture astrid says i run fast dear says i run fast cheetah says i run fast but we need to compare the speed of them then only we can be know which says the true statement But for this we are using the adjectives there are three ways to compare that is positive comparative and superlative these are known as degrees of comparison okay let us see the word fast changes to show us how fast each of them run first the ostrich runs fast in this sentence we are saying only one thing that is ostrich that is positive degree the deer runs faster than the ostrich in this sentence we are comparing two things deer and ostrich this is comparative degree the cheetah is the fastest of all in this sentence cheetah is comparing with all the other more than two things isn't it this is superlative degree okay the word fast is changed into faster and fastest okay let us see when we make adjectives pa, pa, from positive to comparative and superlative we are adding er and est fast faster fastest tall taller tallest small smaller smallest like this for make for this one syllable word monosyllabic word we are adding er and est for comparative and superlative degree if the adjective already ends in e means you only add r and st for comparative and superlative degree okay next term for some adjectives you need to double the last letter before you add er and and do this when the last three letters of the word have the pattern consonant vowel consonant let us see a uh, big bigger biggest in this example big has the pattern of b is a consonant i is a vowel g is a consonant for this pattern letters having the last three, last three letters consonant vowel consonant we have to double the last letter and add er and est like this heart is a consonant vowel consonant we have to uh, double the last letter t and er and est for adjectives ending in y we you make the comparative form by changing y to an i and then add er and est here happy ends with y we have to remove y and add i e r e s t and then pretty prettier prettiest like this for more than two syllables we have to add a comparative more and superlative most uh, example beautiful more beautiful most beautiful important more important most important okay next uh, some ex- exceptional cases are there some words don't follow these uh, f- uh, rules that is good better best bad worse worst little less least far farther farthest far further furthest late later latest late later last much more most many more most okay then uh, fill in the blanks tall taller tallest smart smarter smartest large larger largest big bigger biggest late later latest late later last okay at page number 52 exercises are given let us see let's compare two things uh, i already told you uh, when you are saying only one thing it means uh, we use positive degree when you compare two things means uh, use comparative and the degrees and more than two means superlative degree mm? let us see which is faster a train or a plane in this sentence we are comparing two things therefore we are using comparative degree uh, which is uh, faster you know plane is faster than train isn't it next which is cheaper gold or silver you know that silver is cheaper than gold which is larger city or village a city is larger than a village which is bigger a sea or an ocean you know ocean is big isn't it uh, an ocean is bigger than a sea which is taller a giraffe or a camel a giraffe is taller than a camel then we see the next exercise let's compare three things a donkey a horse an elephant are given 
and the adjective strong we have to use this adjective strong first you have to uh, write a positive degree you can take any one animal a horse is strong an elephant is strong a donkey is strong you can take any one uh, using positive degree but uh, comparative you should take uh, two animals uh, uh, which is uh, uh, a horse is stronger than a donkey you can write an elephant is stronger than a horse like that you can write isn't it uh, you can you should compare two things in comparative degree and uh, the superlative degree is the last one uh, we should take uh, one thing and with all the other things okay uh, we should uh, see uh, which is the strongest of all an elephant okay uh, it should write this method only an elephant is the strongest we should not write a donkey is the strongest this is the, that is the wrong one hmm? okay shall we see the next exercise the first one town city village the adjective is quiet for positive degree you can write a village is a quiet place a town is a quiet place for comparative degree you can write a town is quieter than a city or a village is quieter than a town for superlative degree only one sentence i told you already a village is the quietest place in superlative degree you are we are comparing the one thing with all the other things okay next istanbul moscow london first you should know the which one is populated city you know that you must know that moscow is the most populated city okay uh, you can write for positive degree istanbul is a populated city london is a populated city or moscow is a populated city for comparative degree we are comparing two cities um, the more um, the more populated should be written in first london london is more populated than istanbul moscow is more populated than london for superlative degree moscow is the most populated city next windy weather warm weather rainy weather you can write for positive degree uh um, warm weather is good for our health isn't it okay uh, you should write with the meaning okay positive degree only one sentence warm weather is good for our health comparative degree rainy weather is better than windy weather isn't it warm weather is better than rainy weather for superlative degree warm weather is the best weather next ocean river lake for positive degree you can write a river is deep or an ocean is deep or a lake is deep for comparative degree we are comparing two things a lake is deeper than a river an ocean is deeper than a lake it should be meaningful okay next for superlative degree an ocean is the deepest of all next the usa the russia spain the adjective is large spain is a large city russia is a large city or usa is a large city for positive degree for comparative degree russia is larger than spain the usa is larger than russia for superlative degree the usa is the largest country only one sentence for superlative next the mahanadi the kaveri the ganga these are the river okay Uh, the adjective is long first one the ka- you can write the kaveri is long river the mahanadi is long river uh, the ganga is a long river for positive degree next for comparative degree the mahanadi is longer than the kaveri the ganga is longer than the mahanadi for superlative degree the ganga is the longest river in this three river ganga is the longest okay therefore the ganga is the longest river next chennai hyderabad bangalore for positive degree you can write chennai is a modern city hyderabad is a modern city or bangalore is a modern city for positive degree when we are seeing only one city not comparing with others so therefore we can write any one is a for adjective okay next comparative degree hyderabad is more modern than chennai bangalore is more modern than hyderabad 
Next superlative degree, only one sentence, Bangalore is the most modern city. Next giraffe, horse, goat, adjective is tall. Uh, for positive degree, you can write uh, the goat is a tall animal or the horse is a tall animal or the giraffe is a tall animal. Next for comparative degree, the horse is taller than the goat. The giraffe is taller than the horse. For superlative degree, the giraffe is the tallest animal. Next, elephant, cat, dog. Adjective is strong. For positive degree, the cat is a strong animal, the dog is a strong animal or the elephant is a strong animal. For comparative degree, the dog is stronger than the cat. Isn't it? The elephant is stronger than the dog. For superlative degree, the elephant is the strongest animal. In this three animal, elephant is the strongest one. Therefore, for superlative degree, only one sentence. Then, Maharashtra, Tamil Nadu, Rajasthan, adjective is hot. Here, listen the adjective hot. Uh, uh, first one is uh, consonant and vowel and consonant. Okay. Therefore, we should double the last letter T. Okay. Uh, hotter and hottest, we should write double T. Positive degree, Maharashtra is a hot, say, hot state, Tamil Nadu is a hot state, Rajasthan is a hot state. Any one, you can write. For comparative degree, Maharashtra is hotter than Tamil Nadu, Rajasthan is hotter than Maharashtra. For superlative degree, only one sentence, Rajasthan is the hottest state. Okay, thank you.